What's up guys? So let's talk about dungeons and unfortunately I personally haven't done dungeons yet in the North America server for one because it is very very difficult content. So there's been some guides now that have popped up on YouTube and unfortunately they are in a different language. So let's kind of do a uh, you know run through of this guy's video here boss japs review he did a great guy this is the first time i've seen a video of inside the dungeons actually playing the content and going through it so it's not in english but we're going to go and kind of translate along the way so let's go do a uh, you know reaction video here to explaining kind of what's going on translation a little bit i can't speak his language i don't know what his language is so if you do know what language he is Post it down below in the comment section, but let's jump into this. So dungeons, there are four different dungeons in the game currently. You need to be at least 12,000 gear score to enter. There's the Burnt Castle Armory and the Corolla Cradle for level 50 plus, but I do not recommend that at all. Like These dungeons are incredibly difficult. You'll notice that his combat level is 64, which means he has really, really high gear score and he's even going to probably die some you know in the combat like it's not a walk in the park it's still a very challenging dungeon for him you're also going to be playing with up to five players i do recommend that you get five players it does cost entrance it costs 1000 archim to enter the the pass for the the lower level ones and then the higher level ones cost 2000 archim there's an npc vendor outside the dungeons where you can get these passes and you can enter three times a day I believe the cost to enter goes up every time that you enter. So the first time it's one of those scrolls, the second time it's probably two, the third time it's probably four. So if you haven't checked out his videos, go check out his videos, go subscribe to Boss Jap's channel. Uh, you know, and uh, yeah, thanks for making this video, dude. Awesome, awesome job here, congrats. So they're gonna jump into this. Everyone's going and buying those dungeon passes. You can see, Dungeon pass, enter. Everyone needs that dungeon pass. Minimum is 12,000 gear score. The problem is, is these dungeons are way too difficult for 12,000 gear score, in my opinion. So just because the minimum requirements are 12,000 doesn't mean you want to jump, jump in here with just 12,000 gear score. Because you're going to see, like this dude, I think he's at like almost 19,000 gear score. This is on the Asian server. It, he's going to have a struggling time here this is not a walk in the park for a 19,000 gear score player you know give or take right he might be like 18,000 I believe he shows off his gear score at the end of the video so let's jump in in the very beginning they they tease you they show you grunt enemies these guys are level 55 basic enemies and you can just slaughter them right so you're like ah oh, no this is simple and you don't even need a party to come in here too you can walk in here solo like if you buy the dungeon pass you can come in and try and know farm solo on a dungeon you open up the door and inside the dungeon on a locked and now you've got ancestral three elites monsters over here and bunches of like three or four and you can see these guys are already starting to do some work the dps is pretty good it looks like right here we got a 55 we got an ancestral five uh japs himself is an ancestral five as well and then we have another Ancestral 5, it looks like. So I would say that you do want to be, you know, Ancestral 5 going in here, or at least Ancestral 1, get more combat levels. Uh, you're you're going to notice there's a few invalids that you do hit on these monsters. And the monsters do hit invalid on Japs, which should happen because he is higher level than them. You can see those invalids pick up right there. There's a chest, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for those chests in the dungeon those are going to get you the loot that you want here. We're not sure if the monsters themselves will actually drop any loot, but it seems like the primary resources that you want out of the dungeon are out of those chests that are on the map. So you don't have to clear everything in the dungeon, especially if the monsters do not give loot. It would be smarter to just clear the ones that you do need to clear and then go in collect the loots and you can see japs almost died there 50 percent on his hp there are some uh traps it looks like that fell down there was a bunch of barrels that fell down from the sky and you can see some barrels right there are rolling on the left of the screen so there are a lot of different uh interactions look at that almost dead he was down to like 25 percent right there it looks like maybe a barrel dropped on his head and he got smacked with the monster who knows what happened there exactly 
And, and of course, there's a lot of different mechanics. You can see he's taking a beating. And like I said earlier, like this guy is, you know, 18,000, 19,000 gear score, uh, combat level 65, and it's it's not easy. Like if he didn't have good heals on this or good maneuvering, he would have been dead there, right? Like so, obviously learning the mechanics of the dungeon, you can do this a lot simpler. But right now, no one knows. No one knows how to do these dungeons. No one knows how to do these efficiently, and there will be a lot of player deaths. Because, as you can see, people are taking serious damage. And maybe you don't want to fight in this little section. It seems like barrels are dropping down from the sky. There might be a button or something that you have to press to deactivate that. You can see more barrels dropped over there. It also could just be a skill from the monster that they are fighting right there. That he is dropping down barrels on the you know human players. Whether it's an ability from the dungeon or from the monster you have to figure that stuff out and like i said game mechanics so you'll also notice in the background there, there's some shiny lights on the ground and just a lot of cool different things that you're not used to seeing in the game yet these dungeons definitely will have a lot of different mechanics that you have to learn and understand with less and less people doing them though that makes the loot in these dungeons more valuable so if everyone and their mother is doing these dungeons, then the loot will become less and less valuable. Kind of like how, uh, you know, the faint stone of Riths are worth 0 0.001 BSLT. That's because anyone and everyone can go and get them and easily farm them. Where these dungeons are challenging and it's going to be semi-rewarding until more and more people do them. The primary resource that you get out of these dungeons are sun point, moon point, and star point. And there are going to be fragments that you can put on your house and grow into actual sun points, moon points, and star points. The reason you want these things are they're going to upgrade your gear. So sun points upgrade your weapons, moon points upgrade your armor, star points upgrade your accessories. When you get them to plus six, you get bonus PVE stats. You get like 2% extra damage or 4% extra damage or you know, a little bit less, a little bit more, depending on which weapon armor it is. And then same thing for um, for plus eight, you actually get like 2% PVP damage, or a little bit less, a little bit more, depending on what item or armor it is. And then if you can get them all the way up to plus 10, you actually end up getting like plus two or plus three combat level on your character. So the stats that you do get out of upgrading are really good. And those are just the bonus stats, right? So you're going to end up getting base stats as well. So to upgrade your weapons, for example, if you upgrade them with a sun point, you're going to end up getting, you know, plus 10 or plus 20 uh, extra attack power. And that's going to give you more DPS. So the upgrades do take a lot. The first one is free. It's 100%. The second one is about like 75%, I believe. Uh, and then the third one is like 30% or something. It goes really crazy after that. So it gets very, very difficult We'll do those in another video showing off the sun point, moon point, star point upgrades. Uh, but you can see here, here's a lot of cool interactions. Of, you got this spinny thing on the ground, and it's doing a lot of damage, it looks like. You got these cool ghost spirits that they're fighting. Uh, a lot of damage is going around all around, and you know definitely a challenging fight. You have this weird effect on your character, kind of like a haze, a fog happening to the character, a debuff, it looks like. So once again, lots of new and interesting mechanics that need to be learned and studied to properly do these dungeons. And I mean, if these players weren't this strong, look at him, he's taking a lot of damage, a lot of heat from these guys. If he wasn't this strong, you know, this combat level 64, he most likely would be dead. Uh, I do recommend if you are going to jump into these dungeons with how difficult they do appear to be, take your time, do them slowly, have two healers is my recommendation, right? So come in with two healers or two people that can definitely do some heals and help out. Uh, try and pull only one creature at a time if possible or, you know, smallest bunches that you can. It looks like you can get avoid, avoid this damage by jumping over these spinny, shocky things, these traps on the ground. And you can see there's a loot, a chest right there. So, you know, reward for making it this far into the dungeon. But the big reward is from the boss. So obviously you want to get to the boss and clear the boss. And again, all these monsters are only ancestral level three. This is the quote unquote 
easy dungeon. This is the one that you only need 12,000 gear score to enter. The other ones are 15,000 gear score. So yeah, you can see if these ones are this difficult already, you don't want to really try the 15,000 ones in my opinion, because the monsters are probably going to be ancestral level, like, you know, eight or nine, maybe 10. And yeah, they're just going to kill you and just shred you and make you lose Archeum. So we got another interesting fight over here. Some more of those uh, like spirit-like creatures, it looks like, putting that debuff on you guys. So, so far, I don't think they've had anyone die, which has been a very good thing. You know, like they've kept up their HP. They've done well in these battles. But it has been a, uh, to me, just looking, it's been a struggle. It's not easy. And especially considering like most of them are ancestral level five, their gear scores are probably pretty decent. Like I said, we know this guy's gear score is around like 18, 19,000 gear score. I believe he'll show us at the end his stats exactly, but you know, the combat level being 64. And so here is a mini boss. You definitely check your surroundings because like, there's like little like tank like things right there or car like things you might be able to use these uh you know surroundings to your advantage there might be buttons or activation stuffs oh man he's running to oh he ran to the center Ooh, big fire explosion on everyone Very cool. So yeah, like, just think, imagine, man, if, if he ran to the center and all the, the mobs aggro, that would have been terrible. They're doing a really good job DPSing, burning him down. He seems to be going down pretty quickly, but he's definitely putting up a fight here. A lot of damage has been dealt. He dealt some adds there, and the adds are chasing those little, like, fire spirits. And again, the middle of the room just blew fire, flames at everyone. And then they're here just going to go and avoid all the other monsters. And it looks like they are now at the boss stage. Final, final battle. And the boss here is very interesting. So for what we know is that you want to kill the boss quickly. Like, you have a couple of minutes to kill the boss, and then after that, the treasure chests start disappearing. I believe they said it was three minutes, and then the loot starts disappearing. So, another reason why you want to be strong when you are coming into these dungeons is because you want to get the maximum loot. Obviously, if you don't get the maximum loot, it won't be as, you know, profitable, but you still should be making profit because there's very, very few people that are actually doing dungeons. So... As they go ahead and enter, they talk to this NPC, it looks like, to start the boss battle. And then I'm assuming it's going to start the timer here. And yep, it looks like there's some treasure chests that have now spawned. And so treasure chest 6 of 10 has expired, it said there. So yes, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of treasure chests on the map here. And now they just got to kill this boss. And it looks like there's a bunch of ads that are constantly coming out. And now... Again, once again, putting that, like, shroud debuff on, on the characters, it looks like. That haze, that fog. Oh, someone's hitting for one. Uh-oh, does that mean they have died and they have uh, soul sickness? Could be. Maybe they edited that out if someone did die. All right, doing decent DPS here. Boss is down two bars of HP. And the ads keep coming. But look at this. Oh, man. This is not good, guys. Death. There's a death over there. And he's... Uh, Jap's HP almost dead. Ooh. Jab's down for the count for the first time. At least in uh, what they've uploaded here. And it looks like it's retreats. Everyone has left. Everyone has left and ran away. They're like, nope, nope, uh -uh, I'm out of here. And they come back and attempting again. Round number two. So yeah, you can see, like, I mean, even the grunt mobs uh, were giving them a, def a decent fight. 
and now they've got the boss. So they cut out the rest of that and they just cleared the boss here, showing us the end stage of them killing the boss. Uh, I don't know how many times, but they picked up this burnt castle armory treasure chest. So of course, by failing and dying like that, they probably didn't get any of the other bonus treasure chests. But now they've got this burnt castle armory and when they go ahead and open this chest up, they're gonna go ahead and get some cool items. Again, most likely those moon points, sun points, and star points. It says you can also get Archeum out of this, so he opens this up, and he ends up getting 20 star point fragments. So not the greatest, I believe. Uh, sun point is the most expensive right now. And here he goes. He shows off his gear. So he's 17,800 gear score. So I was a little off on the gear score ratings, but 17,800 gear score for him, and he's going to go show how much it is. So on the Asian server, these guys are worth about 0.36, 0.53 for star point fragments so he ended up getting about seven bslt plus they got a little bit of other uh, chest out of there and again he's showing you that you go ahead and use those fragments and some faint stones of rift to make the brazers which then makes the actual sun point star point moon point and use those to upgrade your gear so overall a great run right there i wish they would have shown the full boss fight but you know, they got wiped and who knows how many other times they got wiped before they end up actually clearing the boss fight. But great video. Great, great, great job there. You know, definitely appreciate the upload. Uh, if you guys got questions or comments, post them down below. Go give this guy a like, follow on YouTube as well. And yeah, if you have, uh, you know, better translations than me, let me know because I don't know what he said. I couldn't understand anything he says. I don't speak that language, but Great to see content like that. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we will skip your ads later.